Again, talking about our exponential function. We're going to put some limitations on it. Okay. And I'm going to put some limitations on b. First off, I don't want b to be a zero. Okay. If b is a zero, it's not very interesting. Okay. Second of all, b has to be greater than zero. So b has to be greater than zero. Okay. Now, <clears throat> there's two things that happen with exponentials. Okay. There's either an exponential growth, which is a term that's probably overused, but we hear a lot, and there's exponential decay. Now, what determines those two things? Exponential growth occurs when b is greater than 1. This is exponential growth. Okay? An exponential decay occurs when b is less than 1 but greater than 0. Okay? So let's do a couple of examples. So I look at these two and I want to figure out which one's exponential growth and which one's exponential decay. Well, but they both have the same intercept. And I look at this one and say, well, this one's, it's less than one, but it's greater than zero. So this one's a decay, an example of a decay. This one's greater than one, okay? Our base is greater than one. So this one's a growth. Okay. 